Right now at 5, a Jackson County woman is facing life in prison. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. Star Myers, the Jackson County woman accused of shooting and killing her partner, appeared in court today. According to a criminal complaint, Myers killed what appears to be her husband and her son and others helped burn the remains. Myers is currently in prison serving a sentence for a previous conviction. The judge still set a $1 million cash bond. The judge also set a $25,000 cash bond for Gerardo Trevino, one of the other people charged in connection to the homicide. The incident happened in the small town of Shamrock on the southern edge of Jackson County. The county sheriff says the entire case can show what's happening in these smaller communities. The criminal activity that deals with drugs and drug uh, deliveries, uh, drug possessions, all the way to addictive behaviors. Um, those are things that we're, our, our community is faced with. If convicted, Myers faces life in prison. Six people have been arrested for shipping fentanyl from Arizona to Madison through the United States Postal Service. Here are the names of those six individuals who were arrested Monday. All are facing federal drug trafficking charges. Police have issued warrants for two other individuals who may be connected to the case. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call commented on the case saying people who sell fentanyl and other dangerous drugs need to be held accountable. He also thanked law enforcement for arresting the six individuals. All right, well, let's take a break and head over to Weather Bill. Let's take a moment to talk about those beautiful northern lights last night. Uh, that, was, uh, that was something, and I will have some uh, images from last night in my main weather Amazing. segment coming up in a few minutes, so you got to stay tuned for that. But today, we had lots of sunshine, and temperatures were warmer than the past couple of days, so that was some good news. Now, cooler to the north, where you've got some snow on the ground yet, 42 in the cities, 44 in Eau Claire, but uh, the, a lot of us in the lower 50s, 52 in La Crosse, 51 in Black River Falls and Sparta, and uh, 52 in Boscobel. There's a gorgeous look, a live look through City Cam, looking to the east of uh, blue sky and sunshine. And you can see we're kind of between some clouds over southeastern Wisconsin and some clouds over western Minnesota. I am expecting clouds to increase from the south and west as the night progresses. Still 44 in Eau Claire, 52 in La Crosse, 50 in Winona and Sparta, and uh, 47 in Viroqua. Clear this evening. Clouds increase overnight. There's a small chance of some flurries late tonight and into tomorrow morning in our far southeastern communities. Most of us will stay dry. Lows in La Crosse around 30 degrees. And again, there's that small chance of flurries tomorrow morning to the south and east. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. Highs around 47. A little breezy tomorrow. And then a mix of sun and clouds and not as windy on Sunday. Highs around 46 degrees. Parts of the state of Wisconsin are due for some snow tomorrow. We'll talk about that and I'll have those northern lights photos coming up in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Phil. Governor Tony Evers' proposed spending on state building projects was shot down by the Republicans. This was expected from the Republicans on the State Building Commission as they voted against Evers' proposals in his last two budgets. The Joint Finance Committee in the state legislature will make the final call about these proposals. State agencies will share testimonies with the committee on Tuesday about Evers' budget. The legislature is expected to pass their own plan for the state budget sometime in June, then send it over to Evers desk for final changes. Wisconsin Congressman Derek Van Orden introduced two Veterans Affairs bills in Congress. The Employ Vets Act aims to improve a veteran's transition to civilian life after they leave the military. The representative for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District served as a Navy SEAL. Van Orden says he knows firsthand how difficult it can be for veterans to adjust to life after the military. That's why he says it's up to the Department of Defense to provide better resources. It is part of their responsibility to make sure, to the best of their ability, that those people become productive members of society. The second bill is the Protect Military Dependents Act. Under current law, the GI Bill provides educational assistance to service members, veterans, and their dependents. If a service member is no longer eligible, the veteran and their families must return their educational assistance. If passed, the Protect Military Dependents Act would allow military families to keep their benefits. If the mills make it through the committees, they will be introduced in the Senate. The president of Xcel Energy said today that they will power down the Monticello nuclear plant after more radioactive water leaks were out. 
XL President Chris Clark said they will shut down so crews can begin making repairs. This comes after radioactive water leaked out beneath the facility in November of last year. The plant's monitoring equipment detected that more radioactive water Wednesday since crews made temporary repairs and that the contaminated water had reached the groundwater. That actually constitutes a new leak under the Minnesota state rules. Uh, so we properly notified the state and NRC as appropriate. The company insists the leak poses no risk to neighbors or the environment and the shutdown isn't expected to impact electric services. A series of attacks on American forces in Syria is breaking up tension in the region, but it could also increase tension between the U.S. and Iran. Nicole Skanga has more details from the White House. The Pentagon says the president ordered two F-15 airstrikes on terrorist groups in Syria. Video shows the aftermath of the attack, which hit two different facilities. The facilities were located near Dar Zur uh, in eastern Syria, and we're continuing to assess the outcome of the strikes. Initial indications are that the facilities were destroyed. The move was in retaliation for a drone strike Thursday that killed a U.S. contractor and wounded five American service members. CBS News has learned the air defense system at the base was not fully operational at the time of the drone strike. My understanding is uh, that there was a complete sight picture in terms of radar. All that said, uh, as is the case in any type of attack, uh, U.S. Central Command will conduct a review to assess uh, what happened. A second attack Friday involved lots of rockets, but no American casualties. American officials say the Syrian groups that carried out the attack were affiliated with Iran's Revolutionary Guard, and the drone used in the attack was made in Iran. We certainly don't seek a, a, a war or a conflict with Iran. That's not the goal. We're there to go after ISIS, but we have to do what we have to do to protect our people and our facilities, and that's the, the decision-making that the president made last night. The U.S. Central Command, which oversees military operations in the area, said we are postured for scalable options in the face of any additional Iranian attacks. Syria remains locked in a civil war which has been going on for the last 12 years. Iran is one of the few countries supporting the Syrian government. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, the White House. Russia is Syria's biggest ally. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad just wrapped up a trip to Moscow last week where he met with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Well, parents may have more of a say of what happens in the classroom. The House voted on Friday to pass the GOP education bill titled Parents' Bill of Rights Act. The bill will require schools to give parents a list of books and other reading materials in the school library. The curriculum would also be posted online and parents would receive alerts of any violent activity on school grounds. Elementary and middle schools that receive federal funding would have to get permission from parents before changing a child's preferred name, pronouns, or allowing any sex-based accommodations. The bill will have to go through the Democratic-controlled Senate. Well, just ahead, cracking down on social media for teenagers, Utah is limiting social media access and other states are expected to follow. Ashley's anniversary mattress sale is going on now. Celebrate decades of restful nights with incredible value on Ashley Sleep mattresses. And for a limited time, receive a free adjustable base upgrade with the purchase of an Ashley Sleep Align mattress set only at Ashley. Get 11% off your next bathroom project at Menards. A brand new Magic Woods vanity is the perfect addition to your bathroom. Magic Woods offers innovative trend-setting styles that will surely bring your vision to life. Get this Brighton bathroom vanity for $229.97 after rebate. Compliment your new look with Lions. Menards carries a great selection of Lions tubs and showers that will match your style and your budget. Right now, all Lions bathing solutions are 11% off. Save big money at Menards. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading. Or get 2.9% APR for five years and no monthly payments for 90 days on turbo high output engine Sierra light duty elevation models. Better Windows Now, 
attractive, easy to operate, and energy efficient for convenience, comfort, quiet, and savings. All styles made to fit your home. Wood grain interior, hardwood interior, solid colors, painted exteriors, highest rated double and triple glazing, and decorative glass. Installation by factory trained installers, and now the lowest price of the year during the 20th annual Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. Nicolet, baby. I'll testify my commitment to the truth. Companies tremble while I'm spitting in the booth. I'm a lawyer rapper, keep the fit. Reppin' Nicolet Law, cause where the Daddy, what are you doing? I'm making a rap video. Get, good job, good job. All right. Boom! <laughs> Year at Ashley's anniversary sale, we were able to secure a more affordable price on the same great quality as before, and we're passing those savings on to you. And bonus savings on outdoor furniture. Plus, we're offering five years special financing only at Ashley. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. A movement to limit teenagers' use of social media is gathering momentum. Utah's new law will require a parent's permission for children under the age of 18 to sign up for certain sites. And as Michael George reports, other states may follow. Um, just uh, Utah is the first state to limit teenagers' access to social media, with a new law requiring parental consent for platforms such as Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. As leaders and as parents, we have a responsibility to protect our young people. Several other states have similar bills in the works, including oh, Ohio and Arkansas. Cyber bullies, inappropriate material, adults who prey on children, they're all accessible on these platforms, just a simple click away. In New York, parents see the possible harm from social media, but stopped short of wanting it banned. It's like playing sports. I mean, it can be dangerous, but it can be also very helpful. I don't think we should be banning it. I think we need to be educating and showing that there are some really good sides. Clinical psychologist Jacqueline Sperling agrees that educating children about social media is more important than limiting their use. The research has shown it's not the amount of time necessarily per se that one spends on the app. It's really about the types of use. And I think that's really where I think the education can be really powerful. The movement to limit social media comes as TikTok faces threats of a ban in the U.S. On Thursday, lawmakers grilled the app CEO about harm to children. Mr. Chu, your algorithms have prioritized providing harmful contact directly to children, like self-harm challenges and even suicide. Utah's new law takes effect next March and includes a curfew banning minors from using social media accounts after 1030 at night. Michael George, CBS News, New York. That curfew can be adjusted by parents, but the default setting blocks access from 1030 p.m. to 630 a.m. Well, coming up, despite inflation, people are still buying homes. A new report from the Wisconsin Realtors Association shows it's best to act quickly if you want a new home. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. 53 today, so three days this week, 50 degrees or warmer. Do we have any more 50s in our eight-day forecast? I'll let you know with my uh, detailed forecast coming up next. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Life's more rewarding at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Whether you're out in the yard, the workshop, or the driveway, it's time to save big on supplies for outdoor DIY projects. Right now, rewards members get Sitco Full Synthetic Motor Oil for just $4.49 a quart after mail-in rebate. Save 20% on all Fram Ultra Oil filters. Shop our great selection of Carlisle Specialty Tires. Plus, rewards members get a free $10 gift card with an $80 estate fertilizer purchase. Find value at Farm and there are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living, and through no fault of their own, they're being left behind? If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. 
You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Sit on this. Sit on that. Sit on this. Hey, sit on that. Sit on this. Huh, sit on that. Hey! King Furniture has thousands of items in stock and ready for immediate delivery. You can see it, buy it, and enjoy your new furniture in your home today. Sit on this. Sit on that. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford SUV to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's Showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. The Wisconsin Realtors Association has released its February 2023 real estate report. The report shows that this winter was a particularly rough period for the housing market. Sales fell over 30%. According to the WRA, the last time sales were that low was in 2012 following the Great Recession. Low inventories have affected home sales, but buyer interest is still high. The La Crosse Area Realtors Association president says that it's best to act now if you want to buy a new home. Be ready and, and be prepared. Um, there's still scenarios where there's multiple offers. Um, so until inventory starts to loosen up a little bit, it's, that's going to be the state of the state of the market. According to the WRA, most of the people buying homes are first time buyers in the millennial and Gen Z generations. The 44th annual home show is now underway in Onalaska. This is a live look from the Omni Center. The La Crosse Area Builders Association <clears throat> puts on the show every year to showcase local experts in building, remodeling and design. The show runs all weekend. Tickets are $7 for adults and anyone under 18 gets in free. Tonight's theme is date night. Visitors can check out the show while enjoying wine and beer from local breweries and vineyards. We have more info about the show on news8000.com. And we're going to switch gears. And Bill, you had teased those pretty northern lights, and now we're finally going to get to see some of those pictures. And this is just a small sample of uh, all of the photos that you all shared on my Facebook page. So thank you so much for doing that. And just a beautiful display of the Northern Lights dancing across the sky last night. It was a widespread and vivid display, not only in our area, uh, but uh, as far south as Colorado, for example, uh, we're seeing the Northern Lights last night. But check out some of these photos. Uh, this was in Onalaska, Greens Coulee. Not only the great colors in the sky, but a little reflection off the pond there as well. Thanks to Derek for this shot. By the way, uh, a lot of you have been asking me, uh, why didn't it look like this to me? Well, a lot of times you just see those yellows and greens with your naked eye. Uh, you have to look through your phone or take a picture sometimes to see those uh, kind of lavender and pinkish and reddish and purple colors uh, at times, kind of depending how vivid the display is in your area. Next up, we've got just north of Lone Rock, Wisconsin. Thanks to Jessica for this beautiful shot. How would you like to walk outside and see this? Uh, next, we've got uh, Lake Nishanik over there in West Salem. Thanks to Jeff Boyne for this gorgeous shot uh, of the colors and uh, that tree in the foreground and of course some of the reflection off the lake as well. And then last but not least, this was between Arcadia and Centerville, Wisconsin. Thanks to Michael for this beautiful shot. I don't know if that's Michael uh, enjoying the view there or a friend or someone else. But uh, again, a lot of great shots last night. Go to my Facebook page, WKBT Bill Grawl, and you can check them out. By the way, this was caused from um, some solar energy that uh, emitted from the sun on March 20th. These are not easy to forecast. You can uh, see that there is a decent chance, but they don't always pan out, especially one as vivid and strong as last night. Hasn't happened since September. Of 2017. So we're talking about five and a half years ago. A lot of you have been asking me, are we going to see them tonight? There's a chance, but this far south and as widespread as we saw last night, probably not. The other problem, we've got some clouds that will be rolling in overnight as well. But in the meantime, skies are clear, 
The sky is blue. Beautiful day for our Friday. 53 was the high. 49 is our average high. 75 and 5 below are the records for today. No rain or snow. 52 degrees with sunshine. 51 out at the airport. Uh, winds are not overly strong at about 7 miles per hour, so uh, really not impacting things all that much. Eau Claire, good evening to you. Or late afternoon, 44 degrees with sunshine there and a south wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So temperatures across the region pretty close to average. Again, we should be right around 49, 50 degrees in La Crosse, so a few degrees above that. Uh, in fact, 52 still a little bit cooler to the north. Again, you've still got quite a bit of snow on the ground up here, so that cooler effect coming into play with temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees cooler or so and winds generally from the east southeast at around 5 to 10. So all is quiet this evening with a clear sky. I'm tracking this storm over northeastern Oklahoma now. It looks like it's going to track far enough to the south and east to leave us alone. Southeastern part of the state, different story. Look at this. We've got winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. One to four inches of snow in the Madison, Janesville area. Maybe as much as four to ten in Milwaukee, down towards the Racine and northern parts of Illinois. So if you have plans that will take you in that direction, just keep that in mind. Again, we are quiet here. Clouds increase overnight. There's the snowstorm bypassing us to the south and east and into tomorrow morning. And then just a Mostly cloudy sky, mainly dry for tomorrow and heading into Sunday, uh, kind of more of the same. Another little disturbance slides by to our south and east. We should stay dry uh, with a mix of clouds and sun. So for tonight, increasing clouds, that flurry chance far south and east late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Lows around 30 in La Crosse, 47 for tomorrow with a mostly cloudy sky. 46 on Sunday, mix of sun and clouds. Few sprinkles or flurries possible on Monday, uh, 45. And then it gets a little active Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with periodic chances for some rain and snow showers. And temperatures, to be honest, staying mainly below average. Again, we should be right around 49, 50 degrees. Every single, those, uh, every single one of those days, daytime highs a bit below average. So this slow start to the warm season looks to continue over the next eight days. Thank you, Bill. Okay. A local horseback riding program is asking for your help. We'll have that story when we come back. Visit the Early Bird Home Show, going on now at the Ford Store Home Improvements. Lowest prices of the year on your 2023 project. Windows, bathrooms, and more. Dan Kelly and his friends are lying about Judge Janet Protasiewicz. He wants to scare you because he can't talk about his own record. Dan Kelly has never sentenced a single criminal to prison. Not one. That's a fact. And as a private attorney, Kelly got rich defending sex predators who posed as youth ministers to sexually assault young girls. That's the truth. The bottom line is that Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. He's an extremist who doesn't care about us. Welcome to the rustic side of Black River Furniture Outlet, Western Wisconsin's cabin store. By unique, one-of-a-kind pieces made in the USA, featuring aspen, hickory, barnwood, and specialty woods like walnut and maple burl. Top dining sets, bars and bar stools. Find epoxy pieces, coffee and end tables. Cabin furniture bedroom sets in king, queen, full, or twin. Bunk beds and case pieces to match. Huge selection in stock to take home or deliver today. Family and veteran owned, Black River Furniture Outlet, Black River Falls. Celebrate and save at Blaine's Farm and Fleet of La Crosse during our grand reopening event going on now. Join us for three days of giveaways, vendor demos, special guest appearances, and more. Plus, shop huge store-wide savings, like $55 off these special buy men's Timberland Pro boots, bonus bags of KT Wild Bird Food, just $11.99, and select dog chews or buy one, get one free. It's time to celebrate and save at Blaine's Farm and Fleet of La Crosse during our grand reopening event going on now. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. And current Chevy owners get 2500 cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Our Rosie O'Donnell exclusive, celebrating a movie milestone. You have to hire her. She's best friends with Madonna. Next, E.T. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. A local horseback riding program is asking for your help. The Horse Sense Scholarship Program is looking to raise 
over $7,000 to assist their special needs riders. The program ensures that all riders of all abilities are able to participate and get much needed support. According to Executive Director Samantha Hall, the lessons are specialized for each rider. Whether it's, you know, young kiddo uh, with cerebral palsy, their goals will look very different than, you know, a veteran in their mid-60s uh, who's struggling with PTSD, for example. So we kind of tailor lessons to meet those goals of those individuals. If you are interested in donating to Horse Sense, you can donate online. We will post that link on our website, news8000.com. And stay with us. We'll have a final check of your forecast when we return. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. Dad always said I was special, that I would do something big someday. But for a while, we were just worried about getting to tomorrow. At UW Health, we found the team that made it their mission. Not just to get me through the day, but to give me a new life and a new kidney. Now, my future is infinite. UW Health, remarkable. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford truck to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. It's showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, we're bringing out all the latest styles for patio and outdoor furniture. From dining sets to sectionals and even fire tables, they're all on sale. We've got all of our favorites in stock. That means no waiting. Plus, for a limited time, you'll receive free delivery on your outdoor furniture. Shop the best quality brands from Homecrest and Brizesta, furniture that's designed to last in any weather. Sale prices and free delivery happening now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. Coming up on News 8 Now at 5.30, a robotic furniture company is trying to help people maximize space in their apartments with an innovative idea. It's called expandable furniture, which can lift a bed to reveal a couch or a home office. We'll share more in just a few moments. And clear skies this evening. Clouds increase overnight. Maybe some flurries far south and east late tonight into tomorrow morning. Those in the cross around 30 degrees. 40s for highs this weekend. 47 tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Mix of sun and clouds on Sunday. Highs around 46. And it looks like we're going to stay mainly in the 40s for highs right through next week. A few sprinkles or flurries on Monday. And some periodic chances for rain and snow showers Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Looking forward to that somewhat warmer weather than... Yeah, it'd be nice to get more 50s, <laughs> but uh, I'm just the mess. The sunshine kind of makes <laughs> it helps. feel that way. That helps. Absolutely. We'll be right back.